Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting. So our learning goal for today says I can add and subtract multiples of 10. So that just means groups of 10, like 10, 20, 30, and so on. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board. So make sure that you have that before we get started. All right, friends, so what is 34 the say 10 way? How would I say that? Three tens, four. What about if we add two tens to that? So my ones are gonna stay the same, we're just adding two tens. How would I say that the say 10 way? Five tens, four, good. Now add two more tens. What do we get? Seven tens, four. So 74. What is 54 plus 20? Yeah, it's 74, right? So we just did the say 10 way and added 20 to that. Awesome. So if I asked you to add three tens to 26, how could you solve that? Think of some strategies. Hmm, what strategies could I use to help me solve three tens uh, if I add three tens to 26? Oh, well one way we could use the arrow way, right? We've learned that. And then we could also use a number bond. So let's see how we could use the arrow way to solve this problem. So here I have 26 plus 30. So using the arrow way, I'm gonna start with 26 and I'm gonna break that 30 up. So it might be um, it's an easier addition for me to do. So I could start with plus 10. So 26 plus 10 is 36. I could add another 10, right? So friends, what's 36 plus 10? 46. Okay, now I need 10 more because I only added 20 so far. 10, 20. So 46 plus 10 is 56. Awesome. So look, 10, 20, 30. That's how I added 30. So 26 plus 30 equals 56. All right, let's see how we could do that with a number bond. So if I have 26 plus 30, well, I know that I could take and break this into 20 and six, right? I could break apart my tens and ones. So then all I have to do is combine my tens. So 20 plus 30 equals 50. And now I have to add that six. So 50 plus six equals 56. So 26 plus 30 equals 56. So we got the same answer using the arrow way and number bonds. So you can use the strategy that works best for you. But in our lesson today, we're gonna to practice both strategies just so we get more practice. So for this one, you're gonna use the arrow way to add 18 plus 20. So I want you to pause the video, you're it, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So using the arrow way, we're starting with 18. I'm breaking apart my 20 into 10 and 10 because 10 plus 10 is 20. So if I have 18 plus 10, I get 28 plus 10 more gives me 38. So 18 plus 20 equals 38. All right, so let's use the number bond to solve 25 plus 5. 50. So I want you guys to pause the video, hear it, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so I'm going to break apart this 25. I'm breaking apart the tens and the ones to make it easier to add. So 20 and 5 make up 25. Then I'm going to add my tens, which is 50 plus 20, or 20 plus 50. Same thing with addition, and I get 70. Now I need to add my 70 and five, so 70 plus five equals 75. So 25 plus 50 equals 75. Awesome. All right, friends, let's look at another one. So we have what is 74 the say 10 way? Yeah, it's seven tens four. 
Now let's subtract two tens. So you're leaving your ones alone and just doing two, seven tens minus two tens. And so it's five tens, four. Now let's subtract two more tens. What do we get the say ten way? Three tens, four. Three tens, four is also what number if we say that in standard form? Yeah, it's just 34. So friends, what is 74 minus 40? Yeah, it's 34, right? Because we subtracted two tens and two tens and that's the same as 40. All right, so if I asked you how to solve or how to subtract three tens from 56, how could you solve that? So, hmm, think about the strategies that you could use to be able to subtract three tens from 56. What strategies could you use? Yeah, well, maybe you said the arrow way or a number bond, right? So those are strategies that we've been working with. We can also use these same strategies with subtraction. So let's try some. So here's the arrow way, 56 minus 30. So I want you guys to pause the video and I want you to try and solve this with the arrow way. Now remember, you're subtracting this time instead of adding. So you're still breaking apart that 30 into groups of 10 to be able to subtract. So pause the video, solve 56 minus 30, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here is 56. I'm going to subtract 10. 56 minus 10 is 46. Minus 10 more is 36. Minus 10 more is 26. So look, this is how I can show that I modeled subtracting 30. So 10, 20, 30. So 56 minus 30 equals 26. All right, let's look at a number bond. So you're gonna do the same problem, but I want you to solve it with a number bond. So you're it, pause the video, solve, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so again, we're gonna be breaking apart these numbers. So let's break this into 50 and six. So now I can subtract my 10. So 50 minus 30 equals 20. And now I need to subtract my six. So 20 and six equals 26. Okay, when you're subtracting that second number, you're just combining that because we've already subtracted our 30 right here and here. Okay, so the six is just coming back in addition. So 56 minus 30 equals 26. All right, let's use the arrow way to subtract um, 51 minus 20. Okay, so you're it. Pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here we go. We're starting with 51. I'm breaking apart that 20 into groups of 10. So I'm gonna subtract 10. So 51 minus 10 equals 41, minus 10 more equals 31. So we can double check. So we have 10, 20. So we did subtract 20. So 51 minus 20 equals 31. All right, let's try this same problem with a number bond. So go ahead and pause the video, solve it with a number bond, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, let's go over this one together. So here I'm gonna break apart my 51 into 50 and one. Okay, it's like we're using expanded form here. So now I'm gonna subtract my tens. So 50 minus 20 equals 30. And then I'm going to combine that back with my one. So 30 plus one equals 31. And notice we got the same answer using the arrow way and the number bond. So that's good practice for both, but you guys can choose which one works best for you. So 51 minus 20 equals 31. Awesome. All right, friends, great job. You get a 10 out of 10 for adding and subtracting multiples of 10. Fantastic work today. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.